<laughs> Our next speaker on the panel is Larry Nelson. He's president of the South Dakota Stockers Association, and he comes to us from Buffalo, South Dakota, I believe. Okay, welcome. Thanks, Bob. Uh, still in the northern part of the state, I guess just the north central part. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to follow Bill Bullard in a speech because I'm certainly not as eloquent as he is. Uh, maybe I should just say I echo everything he said. Uh, what I would like to tell you is, is why folks like me, and I'm a cattle and sheep producer and, and president of the stock growers, are uh, so appreciative of Herman's efforts and why I think that, it, that we... You know, hopefully that their efforts will continue and we have to just support them at every step of the way because there is a battle in this country over what the future of agriculture and what uh, the cattle business is going to look like in the future. Are we going to industrialize it or are we going to keep it in the hands of folks like many of the folks I see standing out here in this audience, family, farmers, and ranchers? And... You know, we keep being told by some in the industry that uh, somehow we have to uh, that we have to uh, get an alliance with the packer, and we have to get bigger, or we can't survive, and uh, basically uh, move towards a situation like the pork producers find themselves in, where basically we're just contract growers, and we really don't have much to say about that, and that somehow that this is inevitable, that if we don't do this, we can't survive in agriculture. And I think these folks have really pointed out that it doesn't have to be inevitable, and I've thought that for a long time myself. It does not have to be inevitable. We've got, uh, let's take Europe, for instance. Uh, they have taken, taken the uh, idea that they want their agriculture to be in the hands of small producers and dispersed out through the countryside uh, to the max. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily suggest that we go that far, but what they have shown us is that you can have the type of agriculture that you want in your country if you have, if people will make the right decisions and you have the right policy decisions and it's not just market forces that it, that it takes to make this work. And we really are going to have to, all of us are going to have to stand behind these guys and educate the American public as to why it's best for them, not just for us, that, that the cattle business in our case stays in the hands of family farmers and producers. And, and the reason for that is simply that we can produce a safer, more wholesome, more edible product that's safer from terrorism, it causes less environmental problems, and uh, keeps us safe from uh, being held up by foreign companies like we are in the oil situation right now. And Herman's battle here over this price reporting case is just is a, is a step, one of a number of steps in that deal, and, and he's just a courageous guy, and and I, uh, I'm really glad to be up here to represent the stock growers and to uh, stand beside him and the rest of the guys on this panel. So thank you. Thank you, Larry. Uh, 